Well, with Steve Minchin from Minchin Constructions, you and your boys have been on site since June last year. Amazing progress here at Riverstone House. You must be really thrilled. Yeah, happy. It's coming along really nicely. Um, starting to actually see what its end product's going to look like now. So getting a few claddings on with the spotted gum and um, yeah, it's starting to look really nice. The spotted gum is beautiful. It's actually going to change colour as, as it gets sun on it, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It'll turn to like a silver grey, um, especially being the rough sawn. It'll be a really nice texture when it's finished, I think. So. Yeah, it'll take quite a bit of time to, to weather, but this bit here is the first bit we put on, so that's starting to weather quite nicely already. And that will complement with the other textures around the other parts of the house? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So we've got some nice, well, the architects designed some nice dark colours in the other bits, so that'll sort of make that stand out nicely and blend into the, the site really nicely, so. Yep. And we're in the garage, which is actually going to be painted totally black. Tell me a little bit about some of those colours that we're going to start to see being put on over the next few weeks. Yeah, well, Phil's done pretty pretty basic colour scheme, which works really well, I think. So this one will be dark, and the entryway will be dark. Um, and then when you come into the main hallway, it opens up into a white hallway to give it bigger space. Um, but yeah, I think it'll look very classy with those dark colours and, and quite a simple colour palette. And when we come back next time, when it's finished, we'll be able to see some really interesting other features. Tell me some of the, the key things that everyone probably wants to have in their house, but these guys actually are going to have. Yeah, well, like I say, we've got the, the custom tinged garage doors. Um, they're pretty pretty cool feature. Not, not a lot of people have those ones. So we've got a servery window from the, the main kitchen area out into the Beautiful entertaining area, which is going to have a built-in wood fire outside and a um, built-in barbecue. Um, and yeah, laundry chute from upstairs to downstairs is quite a nifty feature, I think, from the, from the bathroom. In the, the beautiful living space as well, there's going to be a pretty special um, feature there with the fireplace. Yeah, so at this stage you're looking at a, a custom folded steel plinth for the fireplace to sit on and then the fireplace is a big feature in the main room. And Steve, this is your biggest project since you started your construction company. Tell us a little bit about some of the, the other interesting behind the scenes features that you've had to incorporate into the building that perhaps people might not actually totally understand. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a tricky one, this one, because of all the funny angles. Like, it's definitely a strange angled building and all the roof isn't your standard way, so every sheet of roofing on has had to be cut top and bottom to get the right angles, um, custom folded gutters. And even little things like you were saying, the, the cavity sliders for the, the children's bedrooms. Yeah, so they're all, all the custom size. Um, really large units, so get lots of light from the hallway into the, um, the bedrooms. But yeah, it's all custom ordered and all the jams are custom made. And so yeah, it's been good fun. Love these tricky ones. And something a little bit unique as well in the bathrooms with the brass features. Yeah, absolutely. So all the tile trims and little bits of shelving and whatnot are all going to be brass um, to trim all the tiles off. So we haven't used them before, so that'll look quite nice, I think. Well, we look forward to coming back. You're under the pump. You need to have it finished by April. Always under the pump. <laughs> Fantastic. We will come back and have a look then. Thank you so much for your time. No worries, thank you.